for my mother, I think the thing that I learned from her is to love your kids. Uh, she was fantastic. She was just fantastic. If my mother uh, taught me anything, it was patience, and I'm kind of impatient still, but I'm learning, and uh, suck it up, put the best foot forward, and don't make others unhappy. So, thanks, Mom. I loved Mother, and I learned from her how to cook, how to sew, how to take care of the little ones, and how to love. Many things I learned from my mother, but she taught us to be truthful, work hard, and get an education. She said an education was very important. You could always fall back on it. One of the things was uh, when I was a teenager, which is I was 14 in this picture, um, and in beginning high school, and my mother always taught me to, um, if to keep the first uh, date who asked you. In other words, if you got a better offer from someone you liked better than the first date, you should stick with the first one just because that was the right thing to do. I hope they learn to be kind, helpful, take care of their family. What are, keep in touch with your family. I don't think many people do that anymore. Family is so important. I think that's enough. <laughs> I want to say Happy Mother's Day to my two wonderful daughters. I certainly wish you were here. Happy Mother's Day. Hello, Mary. The thing I remember most about Mother's Day is holding you in my arms while you were sleeping. Dear Glenn, Jolie, and Ed, I miss you today more than anything. I look forward to seeing you when this is over with. I love all of you and very proud of you all. Love, Mom. Dear Brad, Debbie, Jacob, and Sarah, you're the best family in the world. I miss you very much. Be ready for all the hugs when I see you next. I'm proud of how hard you're working in this difficult time. I love and can't wait to see you. Love, Mom. Hello. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. This is especially for everybody because of Mother's Day, but especially for John, Mary, JP, and Allie. On Saturday, March 25th, 1967, Susie became a mom, but it was an eventful situation that was superseded before the birth of Johnny. I was working in the garage, cleaning it, and all of a sudden, Susie yells, it's time. I grabbed her bag, got in the car, and we had to drive all the way down to Burleigh Street to where the hospital was. And so I was pushing the pedal, I was speeding. And as I turned on the Titonia, 
All of a sudden, you bet it, just like Hollywood, there was a siren and the police were behind me. He pulled me over, Susie started to cry, and I yelled to the policeman, give me the ticket down at the hospital, my wife is having a baby. And he says, wait a minute, follow me. And he led us all the way down to Burleigh Street to the hospital. And when we got there, I did not get a ticket, but everybody was there waiting with a wheelchair and they took Susie in, and that became Mother's Day in the Cockett family. So, happy Mother's Day, everybody.